Welcome to the Shripati Education Online Classes. Today we are going to start a new lecture about Unified Modeling Language that is called as UML. It is basically a language that is used for making or specifying documenting the artifacts of the software design. All the blueprints of the software system is written on it. So let's take a look. The outline that we consider under the UML is what is UML, building blocks of UML, architecture of UML. The first question arises in everyone's minds, what is UML? So UML stands for Unified Modeling Language. It is basically an industry standard graphical language. Graphical language because it depict the line, it depict the design for specifying, constructing, and documenting the artifacts of software system. UML mostly uses the notifications to express the object-oriented analysis and design of software projects, simplify the complex process of software design, the blueprint of a system. As I told you, it describes only design or structure of program. UML building block. UML building block consists of three types. Three types of blocks UML consists. First one is things. Second one is relationship. And the third one is diagram. Here you can see things consists of four types. One is structural thing. Second one is behavioral thing. And the third one is grouping. And the fourth is annotation. Now the second building block is relationship relationship also consists of four relationships that is one is dependency other one is association and the next one is generalization and the other is realization now we come on to the third building block that is diagrams diagrams are of nine types one is class diagram second one is object diagram third one is use case diagram and fourth is sequence diagram, component diagram, activity diagram, state chart diagram, collaboration diagram, and the last one is deployment diagram. Now, UML building block, as I told you, the UML building block can be defined as things, relationship, UML diagram. What is things? So things are the most important building block of UML. Things can be structural, behavioral, grouping, annotational. The structural things define the static part of the model. The static part of the model that means the part that is not movable. They represent the physical and the conceptual element of a software system design when we, when we make a blueprint of any software system design before going to be developed. Then Following at a brief description of the structural thing, then these are the type of the structural things, class, interface, collaboration, use case, components, node. Let us discuss one by one. Class. Class represents set of objects having similar responsibilities. Class contain a set of objects which have a similar responsibilities like class, class have attributes, and the operations that is to be performed on the attributes, classes, interface define a set of and and the class is represented by this diagram. When we use it as a language for depicting software design system. So this is the diagram that is used for class, class, attribute and operation. These three things is one of the most important part. Now we come on to the interface. Interface define a set of operations which specify the responsibility of a class. That means it define a set of operations with the interface mein, jo specify karte ki class what are the responsibilities of a class. Class ki kya responsibilities and that means it provide karte ek bridge ki tara unko pura karne ke liye. Then we come on to the third point that is collaboration to collaborate the elements. Here and how the collaboration take place with the help of the interaction and the interaction diagram is used for this purpose. Here you can see the diagram of the interaction. This is this type of diagram is used for representing any software system design. 
Use case. Use case represent a set of action performed by a system for a specific goal. That means there is some specific goal. Like admin. Admin have some type of specific goals to add, delete person, to add the person, to delete the person, to how to delete the person, to uh, to verify the person. So these are the responsibilities that is performed by the admin. So this is the use case. Now the components. Now we come on to the components. Component describe physical part of a system. Physical part of a system. Absolutely there. If you design any software system, then there is some part of physical system of a computer. Sorry, computer software system. So there is a components. If you design any system, then there is a component and components is represented by with the help of this type of diagram. We can graphically represent with the help of this when we design the blueprint. And this is the language. This is called the language that we are used that we going to use. Now the node. A node can be defined as physical element that exists at runtime. Node can only be present at the runtime and it is a physical element. So all these six things that we are considering, these are static. Now the second thing is behavioral thing. Behavioral thing, where we consider about the behavior. A behavioral thing consists of the dynamic part of the UML model. That means you unified modeling language model. Jahape movable, the thing is to be movable. Like following are the behavioral things, interaction, state machine, grouping things, annotational things. Now interaction. As the name suggests, interaction when we interact to each other. When we interact, uh, one object interact with another object with the help of the message passing in. We already studied in object oriented programming and OK, so interaction is so object oriented analysis and design is used for unified in use in unified modeling language for the notation like class and use culture. So these are all common object oops. So Interaction is defined as behavior that consists of a group of messages exchange among elements to accomplish a specific task. Suppose if we want to depict from this end from like uh, from admin page the data is going to verify for this what we use we use this sign message sign ki yaha se hamara data waha ja raha hai agar hume generally dekhe अगर हम एक लाइफ साइकिल भी देखते हैं तो डिपेक्ट करता है कि पहले यहां पे गया फिर ये एरर हो गया फिर ये एरर हो गया ऐसे ही स्टेट मशीन होता है स्टेट मशीन में क्या होता है स्टेट मशीन इज यूजफुल व्हेन द स्टेट ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट इन इट्स लाइफ साइकिल इज इंपॉर्टेंट स्टेट मशीन यूजफुल तब होता है जब किसी ऑब्जेक्ट की स्टेट उसकी लाइफ साइकिल में इंपॉर्टेंट होती है जैसे इट डिफाइन द सीक्वेंस ऑफ स्टेट एंड ऑब्जेक्ट गोस थ्रू इन रिस्पांस टू इवेंट्स एक स्टेट क्या करता है पहले इस स्टेटमेंट पहले क्या पहले बॉन्ड स्टेट में था अगर हम उसमें भी देखें पहले बॉन्ड स्टेट में था फिर वो रन स्टेट में आया फिर वो स्लीप स्टेट में गया वेटिंग स्टेट में गया और जब वो वेटिंग स्टेट में गया तो वहां पे फिर हॉल्ट स्टेट में आ गया ट्रैप स्टेट में फंस गया तो स्टेट चेंज हो रही है ऑब्जेक्ट की स्टेट चेंज हो रही है थ्रू 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 इन रिस्पॉन्स टू इवेंट्स और इवेंट्स क्या होते हैं एक एक्सटर्नल फैक्टर्स होते हैं now the grouping things grouping things can be defined as a mechanism to group elements of a uml model together jahan pe jo uml model ko together group kar diya jata hai they, there is only one grouping thing available sirf ek hi grouping thing available hai jo ki hai package package ek aisa hai grouping thing hai jisme gathering of structural and behavioral things ki gathering hoti hai aur wo milke ek package ki tarah ban jata hai and package is represented by this sign Annotational thing, something important, something for remembering. Annotational thing, we have given. Boy, this render, which comment we render, that is constraints. We have given that it is important. So, sometimes we have notes. So, this is the annotational thing. Now, the second building block is relationship. Relationship is another most important building block of UML. 
it allow it shows how elements are associated with each other and this association describe the functionality of an application so what's its meaning its meaning is that relationship shows one element is dependent to another element or we can say that one element is associated with another element one element is generalized by another element the realization get by the another element so this type of relationship that exists between the element or in a object now discuss it in a detail dependency dependency is a relationship between two things in which change in one element also affect the other one kisi bhi एलिमेंट में अगर एक एलिमेंट में कोई चेंज होता है तो वो दूसरे एलिमेंट में रिफ्लेक्ट होगा अगर हम किसी एक एलिमेंट में चेंज करते हैं तो वो दूसरे में रिफ्लेक्ट होगा इसका हम एक सिंपल से एग्जांपल लेते हैं अगर हम कोई फाइल जैसे हमने सी एस एस एड की अगर वो सी एस एस हमने एक सी एस एस में चेंज किया तो अदर पेजेस में भी सी एस एस चेंज हो जाएगी तो वो डिपेंडेंट है dependency change in one page to also affect the other pages agar hum ek page mein jaise hi change karenge other page mein waise hi change ho jayenge association association is basically a set of links that associate the elements on uml model it also describe how many objects are taking part in that relationship this mean that association how to associate the elements of an uml model it also describe how many objects are taking part in that relationship to one or two elements are associated with each other then it is called as a association like login page in software design system if we are going to consider login page is associated with the user account page a user home page when the user login then it go to the second page so this is a association and if we design a software system then we use a css so css is what if we change in one page then it reflect to the other another page so this is a dependency now we come on to the generalization but thank you we will discuss it in our lec next lecture so please stay safe at your home during the covid 19 and please learn from our tutorial and don't forget to subscribe our channel and also press the bell icon thank you